if you play Wright Patterson Mahjong and you tend to play the same hands again and again and again, try Charleston Force. This way you can practice playing hands that you might normally not play because you're forcing categories throughout the book. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to improve your game or maybe learn a new style, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. For this exercise that I call Charleston Force, I have a strip for every category in the book. So we're going to do three random pulls and force three hands in different categories. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed, so I'm going to mix these up a little bit and we'll pick three. Jewel hands, hands of honors, date hands. Okay, those are good ones. I think those are all the hardest categories in the book to tell you the truth. This is going to be great practice. Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a five, so we're the dealer. I'll put up a one facing you so you can see. Prevailing is east. We'll just say that we're the dealer for these exercises. So I'm gonna get 14 random tiles. Let's pick Charleston tiles. This is just an exercise, it's not an exact science, so it won't be exactly like what you would experience in a game. It's just really great practice. So we're going to try to force one of these categories with these tiles. The goal is going to be to have four or fewer discards at the end. So we have west, south, Red, white, two, three, five, eight, one, four, six, six, five, seven. Jewel hands, hands of honors, date hands. Since we have dragons, let's look at date hands. There are a lot of dragons with date hands. Let's look at number 79 on page 27, Chinese New Year. Pungs of threes, fives, and sevens. Look at we have four. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. Okay, another option. Uh, let's see here. I was thinking maybe Lewis and Clark, 1802, 1806, two suits with news and white dragon, zero, 18. We would have one, two, three, four, five. That's a little better than okay, date hands. Four twenty nine eleven. Four twenty nine eleven. That would be royal wedding. But we need red dragons, not white dragons. May the fours be with you. We have n only one four. Let's just try for date hands since we have dragons. They don't come around very often, it seems. Let's discard those and see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm thinking maybe Lewis and Clark. Okay, here's a four. And we have a six, seven. Okay, let's just look. I think that's too many sixes. I don't think there's anything we can do there with sixes. At this point, I'm thinking we should probably switch jewel hands, jewel hands, jewel hands are on page 20. Ruby, two, three, four, six, eight, four, six. That's terrible. Let's stick with, 
Oh my goodness. Let's give up the wins and still try to make date hands work. We could probably end up giving these away. Let's see here. Let's just look at 1776 with a pair of fours. We need sevens, not sixes. We Well, we need a six, but let's keep the fours. Maybe we can do 1776. So between Lewis and Clark and Independence, maybe. Let's keep the five. Okay, let's throw these three. Okay, there's a six. Oh, and a red. Okay, now we have another option. Seven four nineteen ninety seven in two suits. Mar Mars Pathfinder with a pair of red dragons. Seven four nineteen ninety seven. Seven four nineteen ninety seven. Obviously, we need work there in two suits. Seven four nineteen ninety seven. Either way, we don't need the five and we don't need the six. We could still maybe play, let's see here, 1802 and 1806. Oh, we gave up the wins. No more Lewis and Clark. Okay, 42911 in two suits. 42911 in two suits. Oh, 42911 in two suits. Let's see. We have to give something up here. Oh yeah, let's give up Lewis and Clark. Okay, here we go. We'll get rid of these. Oh, we got a green. And a one crack. We can throw that three away. Okay, so let's see how we ended up. Okay, green dragons. Christmas tree. <laughs> 1579 in one suit. One seven and then the dragons. Wow, seven discards. That's horrific. Okay, what about 1776 in mixed suits with a pair of fours? So there's a four, we can throw those. 1776 in two suits with a pair of fours. Six tiles. That's terrible. 4th of July, number 78. F pairs of fours and sevens in each suit with a pair of red dragons. We want to leverage the green dragons. Oh. Okay, so that was a big fail, I think. This is going to be really hard to get. So I think we should force... Christmas tree. Four pungs and a pair of ones, five, sevens, and nines in one suit. There's the discards. Seven discards. Yikes. Christmas tree. That is terrible. <laughs> oh goodness, that that's gonna you you would have to draw really, really well to make that work. But we're forcing a date hand here. That's one of the hardest in the book, I think. What do you think is the hardest category to play? I think date hands are the hardest. They feel so random. All right, let's do another one. We need to do jewel hands and honor hands. Rolling for prevailing. I rolled a nine. That would be east. So now, jewel hands and hands of honors. Got to make it work. Win a prize. Learn the book. Whatever applies to you. I'm thinking a jewel hand here. Because I don't think we have enough honors. We have one, two, three, four, five honors. 
but if we played a jewel hand, we have six tiles. We could, we're kind of in between hands of honors and jewel hands. Either way, we can get rid of those. So let's break it up. Let's trade that out. That way we're left with a reasonable pass for the second pass. Okay, so let's just look at the um, jewel hands really quick. Because I always forget about the numbers. Two, three, four, six, or eight for Jade. We only have that. And then for Emerald, it's three, four, five, seven, nine. We'd have to throw those away. That's terrible. I'm thinking we should play an honor hand. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, here's an eight. What was the Jade? Or let's see, two, three, four, six, eight. That's what we want, Jade. Two, three, four, six, eight or honors. Let's hold the honor and let's give up these three. So Jade or a hand of honors. Nothing. That's terrible. Discard. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> we got a wind. Okay, and we have discards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven towards the hand of honor versus six towards. No, we don't need that. We can't use that. Five. Okay, hand of honor it is. Seven discards. This is it. That's terrible. But we're forcing a hand. We would have to draw really well to make this one work. Okay, now we have to make jewel hands work. See how I, I think these are the hardest ones. I would pick the hardest categories in the book. Let's roll. 11, 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. We have to make jewel hands work. Let's hope for the right numbers. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, or I always forget. Oh my goodness. Three, four, five, seven, nine. Three, four, five, seven, nine, or two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Here we go. One dragon. Dots. We got to hold dots. We're going to make jewel hands work. Look at all those discards. Two, three, four, five, six. One. No, now I forgot again. We can't use ones. There's no ones. Two, three, four, six. Two, three, four, six, eight, or three, four, five, seven, nine. Oh my goodness. That's it for a jewel hand. Now, it doesn't have to include dragons. What about if we did cracks? Three, four, five, six. Is that what it said? See, I forgot again. Three, four, five, seven, nine, no six. Oh, four. Oh my goodness. Three, four, five, seven, nine. Two, three, four. No, see, I forget again. I need to just leave the book open. Okay. Two, four, five, seven, nine, or two, three, four, six, eight. So let's let's just hold all of these and see what we get. Let's discard these three. Okay, here's a four, five, three, five, nine, three, four, five. 
So let's let's break this up. Let's pass those three. Wait, we can use white dragons. So let's keep the white dragon and pass those three. Oh, shoot. Okay, three, four, five, seven, nine. So we can keep the three and the five. All right, so there's six versus five. I'm not passing a pair. I just won't do it. Three, four, five. Let's give up the three and hope for cracks. We got one. Okay, well that's, oh, and a red. Oh, nice. Okay, six discards. Oh my goodness. That was difficult. Okay, jewel hand. This would be garnet. Pungs of three, four, five, seven, nine, and or red dragons. Jewel hand. Six discards. Oh. Those were really hard. What do you think are the hardest categories in the book? Write it in the comment section. I think, let's see, hands of honors, but I don't think they're necessarily hard to gather. It's just whether or not you can win because everybody gather, everyone likes to hold honors. I like playing honor hands, but the date hands I think are really hard because they're hard to remember. They feel really random and so do jewel hands to me. And then sometimes I forget about gate hands. I guess if you think about the gates, the ones and nines or pungs of dragons or winds, that will help. So I don't think those are as hard, but definitely jewel hands and date hands for me are the hardest. It's all fun though. I still enjoy it even though it's difficult. It really works my brain. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss out on any opportunities to maybe learn a new style, pick up on a strategy, or learn a new insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.